When most people think about heart disease risk, they usually focus on things like cholesterol, blood pressure, or family history. But there is another factor that plays a huge role in cardiovascular health, inflammation. Inflammation is the silent force behind plaque buildup in heart arteries and heart attacks. And one of the best ways to measure inflammation in the body is through a simple blood test called high sensitivity C-reactive protein or HSCRP. If your HSCRP is high, it is a strong predictor that you could be at risk for heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular events, even if your cholesterol levels are normal. But inflammation is something that you can control. In this video, I will be talking about what HSCRP is, what it and other inflammatory markers reveal about your heart health, and what you can do to reduce inflammation and lower your risk. Hi, I'm Valerie, wellness nurse. I believe that no matter your age or current health status, that you have the power to take charge of your well-being and live a longer, healthier life. My goal is to share with you the knowledge and tools that will empower you to make that happen. Inflammation is a natural part of the body's defense system, but too much of it for too long can cause serious damage, especially to your heart and blood vessels. Chronic inflammation plays a huge role in the development of heart disease, and thanks to advances in testing, we can now measure it before it causes major problems. I know this firsthand. A few years ago, I had a workup for joint pain and my CRP was elevated, showing clear signs of inflammation in my body. But through science-backed diet and lifestyle changes, I was able to lower it significantly and actually turned my joint health around while also lowering my heart disease risk. More recently, my HSCRP came back low, proving that inflammation is something that we can control through lifestyle. So let's talk about what these inflammation markers mean, how they impact heart health, and what you can do to lower them. High sensitivity C-reactive protein is a marker of inflammation in the body. When there are high levels of inflammation in the body, the liver produces CRP as part of the immune response. The high sensitivity version of this test is designed specifically to detect low levels of inflammation, making it an important tool for assessing cardiovascular risk. What makes HSCRP so valuable is that it can indicate risk long before symptoms appear. Research has shown that higher HSCRP levels is linked to a greater likelihood of heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular events, even in people whose cholesterol and blood pressure levels seem perfectly normal. It is a sign that the body is in a pro-inflammatory state which can accelerate the process of atherosclerosis, where plaque builds up in the arteries and restricts blood flow. This is what leads to heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. Doctors use three general ranges to classify HSCRP levels. A low level, so under one, suggests a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. Moderate risk falls between one and three, while anything above three is considered high risk. Studies show that more than 60% of heart attack patients have HSCRP levels above 2, reinforcing the idea that inflammation is often present long before a major cardiovascular event happens. The real power of this test is that it provides an additional layer of insight beyond traditional markers like LDL cholesterol. It does not replace cholesterol testing, but it helps paint a more complete picture of cardiovascular risk, especially for people who have borderline cholesterol levels or a family history of heart disease or other metabolic risk factors. By measuring HSCRP, doctors can identify hidden inflammation that might otherwise go unnoticed, allowing for earlier intervention and better prevention strategies. And the good news is, if your levels are elevated, there's a lot that you can do to bring them down. And we'll talk about that later in this video. While HSCRP is one of the most well-studied, other inflammatory markers can also provide valuable insight into your heart health. One of these is fibrinogen, a protein involved in blood clotting. Higher fibrinogen levels are associated with an increased risk of stroke and heart disease. Another key marker is interleukin-6, a pro-inflammatory cytokine that plays a role in acute coronary syndromes and can predict stroke risk. And then there is also galactin-3, which is being studied as a potential biomarker for cardiovascular inflammation and heart failure risk. 
These markers help provide a more complete picture of inflammation in the body, but HSCRP remains the most widely used test. Inflammation is directly involved in the progression of the buildup of plaque in the arteries. It doesn't just cause damage, it drives the entire disease process. When arteries become inflamed, the lining of the blood vessels get irritated, leading to plaque buildup and blockages. This can result in heart attacks, strokes, and even sudden cardiac death. And what makes this so concerning is that many people with high inflammation don't have obvious symptoms. This is why measuring HSCRP and other inflammatory markers can be so valuable. They offer early detection before serious problems can develop. The good news is, is that inflammation is not something that you are stuck with. Chronic inflammation is usually the result of lifestyle choices, and because of that, it can be lowered through lifestyle changes. And doing so significantly reduces your risk of heart disease. Regular exercise is one of the most powerful ways to reduce chronic inflammation. Even moderate activity, like daily walking or strength training, can lower HSCRP levels and improve cardiovascular health. Maintaining a healthy weight is also key. Excess body fat, especially visceral fat around the abdomen, produces pro-inflammatory chemicals that contribute to inflammation. Stress management is another important factor. Chronic stress increases cortisol and inflammatory markers, making stress reduction techniques like meditation, deep breathing, and mindfulness important for heart health. And of course, diet plays a major role. Following an anti-inflammatory diet rich in vegetables, fruits, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and healthy fats like olive oil has been shown to lower HSCRP and reduce cardiovascular risk. On the other hand, saturated fats, processed foods, excessive red meat, and excessive sugar intake can increase inflammation, so limiting these foods can have a major impact. Unfortunately for some people, lifestyle changes alone might not be enough and medication might be necessary. Statins, commonly used to lower LDL cholesterol, also have power anti-inflammatory effects. Studies have shown that people taking statins often seen significant reductions in their HSCRP levels, independent of their cholesterol changes. However, medication should always be part of a bigger picture that includes healthy habits and proactive heart care. And lifestyle changes should always be tried first. If you have never had your HSCRP or other inflammatory markers checked, it might be worth discussing with your doctor, especially if you have risk factors for heart disease or a family history of cardiovascular issues. But most importantly, you don't need a blood test to start making positive changes. Even if you have never measured your HSCRP, lowering inflammation through healthy eating, exercise, stress management, and smart lifestyle choices will benefit you regardless. I've personally seen huge improvements in my inflammation levels through these strategies, and you can too. So whether you get tested or not, taking action today by adopting a more heart-healthy lifestyle will protect your heart for years to come. Have you ever had your HSCRP tested, or is this new to you? Please let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. And if you want to keep learning more about heart health and ways to improve your overall health and longevity, please be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, please take good care of yourself.